The charges were read in this house by yourself, Mr. Speaker. The last two days, I was extremely eager to get to find out the answers to the question of the exchange of money, 800,000, between the governor and uh, Joseph Musati and Dennis Mokoya Musati. Because the substance of this case is that issue. And I've listened to Joseph Musati, a witness presented by the deputy governor, ridicule this house by circumnavigating direct questions that could have been simply answered by factual information. I wanted to find out how coincidental is it that on this, on this fateful two days, Mr. Joseph Musati sent some money to the deputy governor and some money was sent to Dennis Mokoya to send the same money to the deputy governor. And then the deputy governor, he said, incidentally, by accident, sent 100,000 to the employing agency, Lucy Wahito. And then uh, in the whole process that has taken shape and the evidence that was you know, presented before this house, I was extremely desperate as we are at the Senate to say letting a deputy, a deputy governor go should not be an easy thing. I wanted to really find out the defense that should be put across with evidence of that coincidental nature of all these things taking shape. But I didn't find any answers to that question. And for the protection of what has happened, of a father who allegedly was trying to help a child get a job, but turns up to be a witness against the same child, I really want to persuade the Senate to send the deputy governor home. In the interest of protecting the youth, I've been a governor for 10 years and never ever allowed my county public service board to take 10 shillings to employ anybody. Now, for 800,000 shillings to change hands for a small position, and then the answers that were supposed to be given was a ridicule to the house of trying to criminalize the, the, the young man whose desperate position has pushed him to the level. Senator Richard Onyonka. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I am standing here as the, uh, if we were in another